Hello and welcome back to Jules Math Tools. In our session today, we are converting our improper fraction into degrees by simplifying our fractions first. And if you want to see how this is done, let's get started. So in our session today, we are converting our improper fraction 32 6 into degrees. Now to do this, we are going to be multiplying our fraction to 360 degrees, which is a full revolution. And then we're going to simplify our fraction. Now when multiplying a fraction to a whole number, remember that you can always place a one in the denominator for your whole number. It does not change the value of the number but it will make it a lot easier for you to multiply the fractions if you are uncomfortable with multiplying a whole number to a fraction. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is simplify my fraction. Now, I'm going to simplify 36, 360 degrees and six, because I know that 36 is in the six time table which tells me that I can reduce these two numbers very easily together. So six will be divided by six, which will equal to one. And when I divide 360 degrees into six, I know that 36 get from six times six and with a zero that will give me my 60. So remember that six times six is equal to 36. And if you multiply six times 60, this will equal to 360 degrees. So now let's rewrite our numbers. We now have 32 to the first, and we have 60 to the first. And remembering that this simply means that we just have 32 times 60. So let's perform our long multiplication. So zero times two will equal to zero. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. We're going to add our 0 first, then begin multiplying by 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. We'll put our 2, carry the 1. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 will give us 19. So let's sum our numbers together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2, and we'll bring down the 1 and the 9. So my 32, 6 when converted into degrees is 1920 degrees okay so that's it we just converted our improper fraction into degrees by simplifying first and remember that this process is very easy make sure you get some additional practice in and we'll see you right here in the next video on jules math tools where we aim to make math easy